so uh, good afternoon everybody this is dr sagar so uh, we are starting treatment uh, of this young young lady she is having about minus 4 cylinder at 180 degrees and we are going at with femtoelastic what we just un uh, understood that how how useful femtoelastic is so we are creating a 100 microns flap and uh, the flap diameter is around 8.1 mm uh, is my microscope feed visible so she has about minus 4 cell it's a with the rule astigmatism in both eyes so we are going at with the femto lasik for both the eyes basically drying off the whole area niche dekhiye niche dekhiye upar okay wetting the cornea and now essentially the steps are almost the same as we what we saw in the smile we are now taking it aap seedhe dekhte rahiye soja dekhte thakun soja dekhte thakun soja ekdam soja proceeding for the docking now ekta he the green light dekhte bachcho just green light dekhte thakun ha bas very good very good we are waiting the cornea again before the final docking so we are going ahead with the dock now yes ekdam soja dekhte thakun ha straight straight don't move ha khub bhalo very good very nice khub bhalo so so we are starting the laser ekun chukta nara banna ha so ja dekhte thakun ekdam nara banna so this is how the laser is coming in just so ja dekhte thakun ha find the edge of the flap yeah so this treatment lasted for about 16 seconds and the best part is patient is very comfortable with this system visumax because the the pressure rise during the procedure is not very high so patient can still see the light and the procedure gets uh, centered on the visual axis the flap gets centered on the visual axis so that's an advantage compared to the other systems so so we can see now the flap a nicely centered flap Please do so you can see how well the energy is optimized and uh, how easily we are able to dissect so jan dekhte sakun so first pass appears to be a very smooth dissection excellent yeah. this is a very good dissection and there is hardly any resistance and that's it so the dissection is done now we'll take her on the mel 90 for the excimer laser treatment so the same bed is now swelled on to the mel 90 under mel 90 is it possible so to open up the flap and in the mel 90 microscope so that you have not opened up it you know because there is a now little bit of time gap I usually do that. Just make the flap, laser flap, and then on the laser platform, then we open up so that there is no gap. So here we can see the. the yes, yes. The I'm sorry. Even I also agree entirely on that. I didn't think at all. Uh, 
I would also prefer not to lift the flap till I'm under the eczema platform, and then I would uh, lift the flap. Now, is there any uh, big difference? It's just that some stromal hydration changes or those things could, uh, you know, there could be a vagary in the refractive outcome. So that uh, possibility is there. So now I've lifted the flap. Okay. So we have asked uh, the patient to look at the center green light, and we are going with the laser treatment now. Uh, is the pupil tracker on now? This pupil, there's a very fast pupil tracking uh, here device we have. So we are all set with the laser. Green light, dikte thakme na. Green and red light. Okay, sir. Nara banna. Start. Ready. So we are starting the laser now. So the laser is over. It's a very fast laser. A laser about uh, 1.3 seconds it takes to correct one diopter, and it's quite fast. So it's doing. So. We have been doing with Mel 90 for last one year, and the results have been quite good, quite gratifying. There is no problem at all. There were no surprises. I think one of the best parts is the the speed at which the pupil tracking happens, as well as the speed of the laser delivery. The patients are quite comfortable. So, so the cooperation is also very nice. Very well done, Doctor Sagar. Uh, a big uh, cheer for him. Yeah. Thank you. We are almost through with the first eye. We will now take up this. Yeah, the another feature with this Mel90, which I would probably like to highlight, is that it has a dual frequency uh, uh, the delivery system where you can operate either on 250 hertz or 500 hertz. Obviously, most of our cases we do on 500 hertz, but if you are using VRK on, on this, and you, you can use it on 250 hertz, which is what is recommended for higher, uh, higher diopters of correction. So that's one advantage with this machine as a dual frequency. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. Bhargav. This brings us to the uh, end of this refractive session. We have seen a lot of surgeries, right from smile to LASIK and phakic IOLs. And thank you so much to all the panelists and all the surgeons for an excellent presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all.